All right, so International Day of Democracy on September 15th allows us the opportunity to celebrate and appreciate our democratic society. Um, it's very easy for people who live in a free society to take their freedoms for granted. Yet, when freedom is absent, life includes unimaginable challenges that are often incomprehensible. So today, let's reflect on the history of democracy around the world, thank those who influence the development of our government, and look for opportunities to promote and protect our own nation's democracy. In Nigeria, we will still stand by this, you know, I think... I have said it, Uti have said it several times. I don't know about the other ladies. Mm. We don't need a democracy in Nigeria. We no, need we something in between democracy and autocracy. <laughs> yes, and autocracy. Because, I mean, yeah. I saw a video on Instagram mm -hmm. of a man literally going into the drainage and emptying a full, you know, like a 50 bag, kg bag of bin, trash, mm. into the, into the gutter. Mm. I said, who? Ah, these people. Do you understand? Do you understand? I don't know why it stopped. I don't know why all of those things stopped. So anyway, in Nigeria, I do not feel like democracy is serving us. Mm -mm. I don't feel so. We are. We've gone. We've become so lawless. We are so like so nonchalant about the every things we single thing. We are so unpatriotic. We do not even really care. Mm -hmm. I was inside the car today. I just saw the bus uh, at the back of the bus. The man just finished one pack of uh, granite. He just tied the the, the 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 back of the granite and just did like this, dumped on the ground. I'm just not sure. like, I'm not sure it's democracy that's making no, people. It's no, it's lawlessness. No, it's lawlessness. If they will flog you, if the if, if we we the military meant. Even in places where you have democracy, they have laws, laws, mm. and then they have authorities that man some of those their consequences. So I don't think it's really mm. about um, democracy in itself. Nigerians have just grown to be very lawless people, oh, really? and it's not until they are flogged are they cattle that you need to pull yeah, so or to why. push and in so that's why but saying, when they know we that we need someone to flog them it's but not, then they go to the, the time flogged. what happened when in the, uh, the time in lagos state where mm. uh, the governor at the time uh, raji fashola mm -hmm. where people were able to queue up what made people to get into yeah, because that because it's a nonsense person now so it's possible. Mm. It's, possible. it's possible. It's not because democracy is somehow likened to liberalism, right? Yeah. So but it seems democracy like democracy allows people freedom, freedom and all of that to yeah. express, <laughs> but it does not matter. Mm. With speed, mm. you made a difference. Mm. Bring the consequences back rightfully. Mm. Not the ones that they just stop everybody because not everything needs to go to court. Mm -hmm. And if we had fines and tickets, not the ones that just systems once we're able. able yeah once you're doing that no problem yeah I mean, I, I once we put systems, systems in place we don't so we have laws i remember putting up a video of um then governor Modi mm. on my instagram i just found the old video mm -hmm. wow it's so interesting how, how this time. problem that mm. was a problem it's still, it's still a problem no, it has actually multiplied mm -hmm. in like a hundred folds now the problem because i was talking about street hawking and beggars mm. and you know i was listening to feda yesterday mm. and he mentioned when we were in 70s so. <laughs> and they came back absolutely nigeria is in a cycle Turning on you. Turning on, on you. All right, so let's quickly move on. Um, Norma, your story quickly. All right, my story is on the Police Service Commission chairman who has resigned. And the story goes that the chairman of the Police Service Commission, Musliu Smith, has resigned his position. The spokesperson of the commission, Ike Chukwani, who confirmed this yesterday, said that he resigned on health grounds. And um, the commissioner is yet to issue an official statement on the development. The resignation came from a backdrop of controversies that were trailing the commission's recruitment of constables. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing that actually stood out for me is that uh, there's been all of these uh, uh, controversies and even though people were saying oh that it, or he was saying that it was on health grounds the situation in the police as of, as of now I mean we've talked about that over and over in in our conversations where we're like the police needs help so if the recruiters 
for that are recruiting these um service people are no longer available i don't know what is going to happen when mm -hmm. they are resigning and um it the police is one place that we know ha needs serious reforms mm -hmm. where we need i mean there's a lot of help that we need there so i don't know what the dynamics will be now that the chairman has resigned and um, there's a lot of work to be done there were controversies over fraud and different situations that but of course they've they've said that all those things are not uh, are not founded but I, it's it's mm. still it still hasn't so, uh, solved the problem that we have in the police. Mm. The other day, I was driving down Ikeja mm -hmm. Axis and I was passing the cantonment area, mm. and I saw the dilapidated houses, and I keep saying, "These are the people that we have put our security in mm. their hands." Well, mm. you know the funny thing: funds are released for their renovations and rehabilitation. A lot of people say that they are embezzled. That's where there were controversies yes. that were, you know, to what that led, even though they said he resigned on health grounds. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of controversies around that because He's if these people, tracks. I don't, I, well, allegedly, it, we, allegedly right? We but suppose. it's important that whatever government is going to come in, mm. there is need for serious reforms in the, poli in, the in, in our police no, this, in that is consequences one because immediate mm, that is reaction. One, one, um, as simple one, as uniforms, yeah. who are being able to give some level of dignity, dignity. Mm. to the service. Well, that is one, like, one second. The, I mean, Bola Leo St. Peter's recently yeah. released the movie Collision Cause. Mm -hmm. In uh, in that movie, right, it, it just gave a small um, small glimpse snippet, to, into what their lives what, were like. You know, a, mm. An average policeman, you could tell that that man was frustrated. Now imagine you see where he's living. Mm. And you don't give that kind of a person a gun and he will now stop somebody that's driving a Range Rover or driving a, a Oppression is already disturbing him. There's, there's, a, lot of, there's this, a lot of mismanagement that must happen in that complete sector. For Nigeria, for Nigeria, Nigeria yes. means a complete overhaul, overhaul. in every it's single sector. sector. Like, but this police it's sector, worse. oh yes, no. There's I hope the people that come in next make it a, mo a major project. Yes, it actually be. It and then followed by... Well, I hope they show the videos of this. It's allegedly a young boy had his phone seized by his mother. He's not in Nigeria. I think they're in America or in the UK. And he thrashed the house. Mm. He thrashed it almost as if there was a hurricane and an earthquake. And they had said at first, oh, you need to show the video. Mm. They had said at first that he was 12, but the mother now reacted and said he's actually 15 and he's um, six foot tall. So there was nothing she could do physically to him. What I suggest, if they show the videos, people mm. will see it, but it's on the internet. He should go to police. I mean, the police should arrest him and put him in the remand. Juvenile. Um, There's juvenile yeah. courts for mm -hmm. people like him. He's unruly. And then when you say, I have been dealing with it for 15 years, why didn't you nip it in the bud at the age mm. of one? That's your video then. At the age of two. Mm. When they are throwing tantrums and you are saying, no, oh, it's so yeah. cute. It's such a stubborn boy. If you beat Sanama <laughs> on the boy eh, and you reset their brain, they don't grow up to be 15 or grow up to be 30 and, and be like this. violent men, mm -hmm. grow up to be 28 and showing anger mm -hmm. everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's because mothers, parents don't discipline so the way they're supposed to. Let me explain what you just said. Mm -hmm. I remember when my sister's youngest son, I think even started with the older one, mm -hmm. started. I told her, I said, Madam, this is a tantrum that you must nip in the board. Do you understand? Mm. I told her, and she thought it was a joke until, mm. you exactly. know, because you see, sometimes I, I tell with parents, mm. right, your children will always test you. You see how far they can go with you. The so if you, the if you accommodate little things, little things they will try, they will, they will try they'll keep increasing it, and you will not know that they are progressing. You think it's still the same little thing that they're doing. But they are progressing. Uh, she's you know? right here. She, if, she, if she was going to come on air, she would have told you about it. We went back to Ireland in 2015. At that time, this girl was 17 years old. She went somewhere that I expected her to come back from. And she didn't. I picked her up. And I took a cord from a cable of video. And I started beating her. Oh, wow. 17 years old. I hope you were, you're okay. Mm. You were not arrested. 
<laughs> I told her that the day that police knocks on this door, I would tell them she was born in UCHO, mm. Ibado. So me and the one that I gave birth to in Nigeria, a Nigerian property. Mm. Let's go back home and deal with it. <laughs> you have no authority over here. Because they small kids when they are abroad. They'll be, be fearful of child protection services. And then before you know it, the child is ending up in the system, prison system. Mm. Because you don't hold them at the right age. So, so, You'll be saying, no, the tantrum is children, so cute. Children test parents. Yes, so, and, and if you as a parent, you're not smart. Mm. The child keeps progressing, mm -hmm. but you're not noticing. You're not, you're not, not paying attention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So, I mean, every child has that tendency to test their parents. For a child to not get but to this learn, level. It's, it's a learned behavior because if from the time you were the born, society the else. consequences and the smacks and the, the way we raise kids as black people started, the child won't even grow to the age of testing. Hmm. I it's think well. to a large extent, yeah, hmm. just to allude to what you were saying, it's, it, the onus lies on the parent to start noticing when there's a change in behavior. Mm -hmm. Because this attitude or this uh, behavior is not something that started overnight mm. it was something that progressed the took it's something table i mean i saw kids. there were broken toilet if seats if back into your there house, broken toilet seats and all so it's, she was just it's you know there was a time somebody posted a video sorry number on instagram i said <laughs> Mm. They don't bomb my picking. You see, so it's not, it's not, it's not, no, you've not seen. I said, uh, it will not ha I repeated it that it cannot, it, this can never happen in my own household. I don't know about your household. Even the boy that is taller because, than me, uh -huh. we face each other, okay, Bob, Bob, <laughs> I will get you arrested if you don't understand. There's no child can make no, me. We have when you, in my house now. When oh, you sleep like in jail for when, one day, these kids are giants. There's, a, there's, there's something that you can call this. Mm. I mean, going mm. uh, into someone's house and trashing it. Uh-uh. Right, so you are going to be accountable for that. Our president, yes, honors Toby Amusa, Essay Brume, and others. The president has honored them. He's giving them a sum of about two hundred million. Um, he honored. Okay, the people that the athletes that he honored this twenty twenty two Commonwealth Games. You know, he honored them. Uh, all the medalists: um, Toby Loba Amusa, Essay Brume, Blessing Okorodudu, mm. Olua. Femi Ayo, Fola Shade, Taiwo Ladi, mm -hmm. Kechuku Obio Chukum, Bosse, Omo Layo, Favor Ophili, Nasiru Sule, Ife Chuku Di, Ipe Oyi, Ebi Wemi Mo, Wilson, Hannah Ruben, Elizabeth Oshoba, and amongst others. I mean, I am happy for them. They keep they, winning. They keep winning. The only sad thing is that since Anthony Joshua took picture with uh, our Baba, he started failing. Something <laughs> just went wrong. <laughs> is this our Baba? Are you accusing? Is, Are you, so I, is there an accusation? I'm just there. saying that I'm covering them <laughs> in the blood of our Baba. Let me tell you, I'm covering them in the blood of Jesus. Oh my God. Because it's just. May you not take the wrong picture? <laughs> On that note, that was on a lighter note, though. Uh, let's take a break and let's discuss black people. Stay with us.